Good evening guys, welcome back to another Joffy Noodle Legs Late Night Horror Review. Uh, today we're looking at 80s slasher film, The Initiation. This is a release on Arrow. This contains the Blu-ray and DVD of the film. Um, I'll give you a little synopsis of it. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of a strange film, it's a little bit mixed up. Um, it's a little bit everywhere, actually. The film starts off with, with, with like, a child's room. And we see all these, sort of, like, cuddly toys and, and stuff. We even see little Winnie the Pooh, I mean. And the, sort of, camera sort of pans around the room and then pans down to the girl's bed. And you see this young girl in bed. Um, it must be about five or six, sort of, age. And she's in bed. And there's a huge, sort of, thunderstorm going on. Um, and it's sort of like uh, it, it's 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 straight from um, uh, <laughs> a poltergeist. <laughs> um, anyway, so she sort of wakes up in bed, and she sort of goes for a wander out of her room. And when she gets to the sort of landing hallway of the room, you see another room ahead with a door open with like an sort of open fire, oh, in the room. And the, the young girl starts to sort of walk towards this fire. And when she gets in the room, she sees her mum with um, some other chap, I think, uh, sort of like uh, making out. And she sort of like sees them, and the mother sees the girl and sort of like freaks out. And then the father comes in the room, and then there's a big sort of like fight going on. Uh, and the girl, um, so the young girl sort of stabs the guy, the stranger, with a knife. Which, I don't know where she's got it from, but she's got a knife. And she stabs him a couple of times. And then the sort of fight goes on between the father and the uh, and this guy. And the, the guy sort of gets doused in petrol or oil, probably lamp oil or whatever. And he gets too close to that fire and he sort of sets on fire. And you sort of see him sort of like burning in the room while everyone else is trying to get out. And so this is where the film starts. We didn't cut to what I thought first of all was a load of coven of witches. Uh, we see them around the bed of this sort of teenage girl sort of ch chanting and holding candles around this girl's bed. Anyway, this girl's on the bed and she gets up. And they start walking with the girl uh, through the hallway. And then they go through the landing hallway. I think it's in a, it's in like a big sort of uh, building. Then they go down this big staircase, spiral staircase, all the way down to this other room where there's, there's about three or four other girls. And she joins them in the front, this girl. And all the other girls with the candles come behind. And there's like uh, a sort of one standing up on this stage thing dressed in robes probably the, the leader and again it looks it makes it look like a like a coven of witches so they sort of um get them to agree this sort of like uh sw to swear to do this to do that for them and then the lights come on and we and we find out that there is like a, a high school dorm and it's these girls that have got four or five new girls getting them to pledge to for the um pledge night so they sort of like a initiation test so they've got these girls to do I swear they're going to do everything that the other girls want them to do so they've been sworn into this initiation test and a part of the test is um the girl that was on the bed um father is like rich and owns a big company, and he wants to go into his building and nick a night security's uh, um, outfit. That's what they want to do. We then cut to a mental institution uh, with all these sort of like absolute nutters in there, sort of wandering around doing silly things, and and we see a nurse there, and she's quite strict with them. She keeps telling them all off for doing this, for doing that. And then there's one of the patients by the window with like a flower. She takes the flower off her and 
looks down at the yard and sees a gardener who's digging the flowers. And the gardener's got a sort of like all burnt up face. So I think it's the guy that was in the bedroom. He's obviously still alive, but he's like being resorted to doing something like this. Anyway, they all go absolutely crackers. Uh, and sort of like the, the nurse sort of runs out eventually. And goes out. We then cut to sort of like the night time. And uh, we see... Um, someone sneaking around this hospital psychiatric hospital and then comes and unlocks the door of all these psychiatric patients so they're all loose and running about <clears throat> and the nurse the strict nurse is making her way to her car um for her way to go home and then she's in the in the car park and she hears all these people singing ring a ring of roses she turns around and all these patients are out in the yard and she tries saying oh get back in your room get back in here we'll let you all out but none of them listen to her in fact they start pushing her around so she sort of like feels a bit anxious about it and sort of makes her way to her car and gets herself into the car and then all the sort of patients surround the car almost like zombie like and then she turns around and she gets a shot to someone in the back seat and then this person stabs her in the stomach two or three times. Whilst all the others are outside the car, sort of like, still sort of rocking the car and stuff like this. We then cut to a very posh house where we see the dad and the mother of the uh, the girl from the, uh, the dorm. Uh, the rich girl. And they're having a jibber-jabber. Uh, about stuff and about how they think this this school will be good for the girl because she keeps having these nightmares and stuff like this and the, 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 the dream sequence at the beginning is a dream sequence from the girl she keeps seeing this vision of this young girl going into the, her mum and dad's room and stabbing her I wonder what that's going to unfold to be um so they're, they're all thinking it's going to be it's good for her to go to the school she then turns up at home and, um, the, you know, the, they just sort of, like, keep chatting and the dad's very sort of, like, loving to the daughter and understanding where the mother's the opposite. And then they, we cut to back to the school where we see our uh, our girl again with a teacher there and she, she's talking to them about wanting to do... Um, her, her thesis on dreams and things like this and sort of like he agrees to sort of cooperate with her and they do all sorts of funny things they sort of set her up on this dream machine about this nightmare to see what's happening and they, they see all these sort of strange things happening in, in the results and stuff like this and she still keeps having this nightmare so it's all this sort of crazy stuff going on um, they almost at this point sort of forgotten about the initiation thing, <laughs> and because um, that 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 started off like that, then all of a sudden it, we we've completely forgotten about it, um, and it's all come back onto this girl who's having these nightmares, which reminds me a little bit of that film Happy Birthday to Me, um, so it had a little bit of inklings on that, and that's what this film is like. It's like a because uh, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Um, on the synopsis this film's a little little bit of a mixture of sort of like different films together uh, and it's quite an interesting little film to be honest um, so what do I think of the initiation I thought it was really good I think it's a cracking little movie it's quite cool it's quite slow um, for a sort of slasher um, it's not like the the high kill count sort of slasher it's more of a sort of story one, like Happy Birthday to Me and um, those sort of films, uh, you know, th these sort of slasher films. It's got a bit more of a story to it. And um, it does go back and forth quite a lot between different things. This girl story, the initiation, her friends, her friends talking about how they can't get boyfriends and all this kind of thing going on. And it's just like... It's a little bit everywhere, but it does sort of fall into place as the film goes on. 
Um, the pluses of the film, the transfer is good. It's not brilliant, it's good. Um, it looks very sharp in some places, and it's got a nice grain in it, but then sometimes the grain is overpowering in some areas, especially when it's dark. It's just like a really black with loads of white um, dots everywhere, and, and, and it's a little bit overpowering at some point. Um, the acting's really rubbish, so that's brilliant. Um, but it's got some great actors in there. It's got the chap from The Return of the Living Dead in there. Um, and and it's quite cool. Some of the acting is amazing and some of it's absolutely rubbish. But that's what makes these sort of films great. Um, I did like the premise of the story. I thought it was quite cool. Although it was difficult to sort of get grips of, first of all, what's going on? Why are we... Uh, one minute we're at initiation at a, at a school, which we thought were witches... Then we've got these dreams, this girl killing someone, this guy on fire. Then we're in a mental institution, then we're in this big house. Then we're with this teacher sort of falling for this student. And it's just like, it's like that's all over the sort of place. It doesn't know where it wants to go. And it's a bit like that throughout the film. But it is confusing, but it's great. It's very 80s. It's very, very cool. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to score the initiation a, um, a great watch. And give it a 7 out of 10. It's a really cracking little film. It's a good film. If if you don't want a sort of really gory sort of slasher. With predictable sort of killers. You want one bit more of a story. Um, then this could want, this one could well be for you. It's I do like films like this that are a little bit mixed up. Because it makes your brain work a bit more. Whereas most slashes doesn't require that. It, there's, there's a killer stalking people and that's it. Uh, this one's got a bit more of a story to it, like Black Christmas and things like that. And it's along those sort of uh, lines. So I really, really enjoyed it. The Initiation, 7 out of 10. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know what you thought of it down below. I thought it was a really good film, to be honest. Um, I picked this up at um, HMV because they, they, there's some Arrow um, films on sale at the moment and um i thought i'd pick it up and i've actually ordered um a set of three more arrow films because the arrow sales coming to an end soon and i picked up three more movies that are being delivered for eight quid each because they're normally about 15 16 quid a, a pop so i've got three of them coming for you know for about 20 quid something so that's really cool so i'm hoping they arrive in the next uh this week and what i would do I'm going to review all three of them, and I'm going to call it Arrow Video Week Part 2. Um, so we're, we're going to look at all these sort of films on that week. So I'm looking forward to that. And this is really cool. It's definitely worth a pick-up if it's something a little bit different than usual. You know, I thought it was going to be about witches and stuff, but kind of not. For <laughs> That's just me wishful thinking, but it is still a really good film. I do recommend it. Until my next uh, video, check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, The Man V Film, RS Designs. Look at me, I'm like Arkwright doing all this. Um, RS Designs, Pizzawell, I Am The Ice Lord, um, Sarah of Horror, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. Amazing channels, guys. Until next time, look after yourselves, don't have nightmares, and I really hope I see you all soon.